Portland's The Circus Project is getting ready to open a new outdoor aerial art space for performers and students. Cor Harlan joins us live to show us the new performance domes in Northwest Portland. Cor. Right, this is called the Circus Project, and for uh, you know, this sounds funny when you're a, when you're a kid and you tell your folks you want to join the circus. This is the place you go. But this is more than just mom and dad's and grandma and grandpa's old circus. These are uh, things uh, in the uh, Circus Project uh, that involve contortion, juggling, hand balancing, and a lot of other uh, aerial arts, performing arts things. And the classes for the summer open today. All right, the pandemic has taken away a lot of things, but it has not taken away the desire on some people's parts to take part in circus training. We are at a circus school called the Circus Project here at Northwest Petty Grove and 17th in Northwest Portland. And as you can see, they've got some of the, uh, some of the performers, some of the performance artists doing some practicing and doing some work in the background. This is Amaya Alvarado, who is uh, with part of this uh, group here. Uh, first of all, uh, this coming week is a big week for this group because they have a performance. It's not open to the public, but it is a performance nonetheless, right? That's right. Uh, this week will be, well, as the Circus Project, our very first live performance back uh, from pandemic times. And this is very simply an effort to instill in people the art of performance and circus performance in particular, right? That's right. The idea is to uh, support uh, personal and collective transformation through circus arts. And again, they do everything from uh, the aerial activities to some of the th things that are more commonly understood by people as in the circus performance arena here. Juggling, it's a, it's a craft, it's a skill, uh, and it involves a lot of equipment and a lot of uh, design. This is uh, Trevor Blacon. You designed and built all of this in the Zydell yard where the, where the performances That's will right. be, correct? The new domes that are connected with an arch for an outward facing venue as well as having the studio spaces inside the domes. The unique part of the design of these seems to me to be able to have to carry somebody's weight or carry two people's weight in some fairly, uh, in, 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 without great big I beams and steel right. beams and it requires a lot of engineering I guess, right? Right, it does, it does that. Uh, the domes themselves are already really strong. But what I've done is actually added some trussing elements for those rigging points and then made the mill tops extra strong as well. And then the arch itself is also engineered for that kind of loading. So you get an appreciation for what goes into making these shows, not just Absolutely. watching them, but what oh, goes definitely. into making them as well, right? Yes, behind the scenes is a big part of circus. And as we mentioned, the show that they have uh, down at the Zydell Yards this Wednesday is a sort of a private showing, but, uh, and this is Jackie Ward Kerwald, I said all three of those correctly. I sure did. The, uh, the show may be private this Wednesday, but you're highlighting this to sort of get attention to this as maybe an option for kids, teenagers, and adults to get involved in some of these circus arts this coming summer in terms of camps and stuff. Tell me about that. Right? Yeah, that's right. We're, we're so excited that this summer we'll have this indoor studio running with classes and camps and performances, and we'll also have the outdoor venue. And that's the one that'll, that'll allow us to gather with a lot more people because it's safe, you have the fresh air, and it's just going to be beautiful and fun to be outside. It takes a lot of dedication and training and focus to be able to be a circus artist. And some of these people aspire to be in the shows, the circ shows that travel around the country and the world, right. really, right? That's right. It just starts with one class, and then you, the passion grows from there, and people have been training so hard, and we're so excited to see them blossom into the performers that they're becoming. How young do you have to be, can you be, to get involved in this starting this summer? Our first camps start at age six or seven, I believe. Mm -hmm. We have classes for teens, for adults, of all ages, all abilities. There's something for everyone. The circus Project, a cool way uh, to get involved in some of these, uh, I guess, circus class or That's circus right. circus school is what you call it. They're not, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's what it is. And it involves a lot more than just fun and games. And as you can see, it involves a lot of work. Uh, but for these folks who are aspiring performers, a big payoff down the line, maybe. Yeah, I mean, they call this circus school, and I don't mean that in a pejorative sense there. Some of these performers in there, these are, uh, these are people that aspire to be in some of the Cirque du Soleil shows, Jenny and Ken. You know, we've, we've all been to see those Cirque shows, and we've seen the, the men and the women running around a great big auditorium, juggling and uh, running around doing uh, some, just some, some unbelievable body contortions. Well, all of that it requires a lot of training, 
And all of it starts right here at a place like this, circusproject.org. And again, classes, a registration, I should say, for classes begins today. They are doing in-person classes after a long hiatus as a result of the pandemic. But, you know, when we see those COVID things go on, or the, uh, the Cirque du Soleil shows go on there, mm -hmm. uh, we all wonder, gee, how much training that goes into that. Well, that's where it all happens right there, and it is pretty amazing to watch. I thought we were going to see you up in one of the, the things. That's what we were hoping for. <laughs> yeah. You know, well, that was a three-minute story there. If I'd have been up in those things, it would have probably taken five or ten minutes and a 911 call. So. <laughs> Yeah, actually, that story was three and a half minutes, but <laughs> not that we're counting. <laughs> three, yeah, yeah three, all right. All right. Oh, Thanks, Cor. Cor. Three and cool. a half minutes. Well, it have been ten and a ten and a half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we oh. know. All right. Uh, uh, well, let's talk uh, traffic and weather right now. Carly's standing by with a look at what's happening out on the roads, but weather-wise, what do we expect today? Uh, yeah, we're expecting uh, some active weather. We could see an active weather day today.